looking at strategies, I think it's very telling. Uh, and I would relate this and compare it back to 2008. Um, one of the one of the recessions that I've been through uh, in my career and lifetime, just one of them. But 2008, uh, the great one, as they would have referred to it, during that time, you saw a very similar strategy and focus on businesses as in being employed today. And that is, as opposed to making major moves and major changes during a difficult time, you see folks focused on improving productivity and efficiency, 65%. Uh, followed, you know, way to the left side uh, by decreasing operating expenses, an obvious move, technology improvements, and increasing pricing to improve margins. I think what it tells us is that, you know, we would like to focus during times of uncertain uh, times of uncertainty in the things that we can control, and also areas where there is less risk as opposed to more risk. Uh, we're not out of COVID or the pandemic yet. And so there is risk to companies. They feel it, they know it. Executives uh, understand it and feel it, the pressure on them. And so these are the normal strategies you would see in a time like this. The other thing I would say is on technology improvements, um, you know, those many of those that may be made were already in, in process or, or in progress at the time. Uh, you know, we have a technology company, we've got cybersecurity, a variety of things in these areas and services in these areas, and we saw these same things as well. Do you have clients and customers that pull back? Absolutely, but you also have those in the tech sector or manufacturing distribution that have a strong showing prior to the pandemic. And even in difficult times, you have to persist on and continue on your plan with business as usual, or you wake up behind. And so if it's time for a technology change, if it's time for an ERP, uh, you can't really change that just because the pandemic had to it many tech companies are doing well. Um, most interested, very similar to the previous, the companies most interested in selling existing products to existing markets. Again, a lower risk, uh, lower cost alternative than developing new markets, uh, entering foreign territories, going international and things like that. I think the reasoning stands uh, to be very similar to the previous one. The other piece of it I would say is that during COVID companies, including ours and many of our clients, are learning to do the same thing in new ways. Uh, and as a result of that, it brings increased focus to existing markets and customers, whether that's by location, whether it's how you connect, whether it's how you deliver the service, uh, some of that was by necessity. So this strategy for 2021, there may be some preferential strategy, there may be some required strategy buried in here as well in those numbers.